Hi everyone, so here it is. I have a 10 by 10, 10 by 10 gallery wrapped canvas and I have added some paint along the sides and the edge and have taped the back and also have some push pins. So you can see right there, it's all ready to go. And what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing a, I think they call it a grenade pour. <laughs> so I have these two three ounce cups and a 10 by 10 is going to take about three and a half ounces and of paint. So I could probably fill just one, it wouldn't be enough or use a larger cup, but I decided I might go ahead and do two separate ring pours on either side of this. So that's, what could, that's why I have these two. My colors are gonna be Prussian blue, which is this right here. I have this sky blue going to be using this turquoise teal, teal green. Uh, I may go ahead and also use some metallic blue. I have some here by Artist Loft. And I will go ahead and use the gold. So I was thinking silver, but um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the gold. So that's what we have here. And for some white, I have here some Amsterdam uh, titanium white with some satin enamels, flood, flow withdrawal, and a little bit of water mixed in here. I'll be using this for my white. So let's go ahead and get started here. So as I started pouring my paints into the cups, I'm starting to realize my paints might be too thin for the flip cup or another word for it is the grenade. Um, so <laughs> I go ahead and go through the process. You see here, I got the second cup here. I'm allowing it to flow. And definitely seeing that the paints are too thin. I guess I'm looking at the one at the top hand, at the bottom corner, and I see how the paints have overmixed. And that is because the paints were just too thin. I grabbed the wrong set of paints. I grabbed my very fluid that I normally use for my Dutch pores. You see right here, as I drag through, those paints did not hold their color integrity. Try to salvage it a little bit by striping through and was kind of hoping that I would get some effects and I am that would help it along a little bit with the satin enamels. You can see there in the top left hand corner, the satin enamels is really trying to come into play and even adding some gold in the middle to keep the two from over mixing with each other. But I'm having a lot of hard time here controlling the paint from overmixing even more. And I, I just decided, you know, just go ahead and keep going through the process and seeing what it is I can get. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was really difficult to try to get any control over this. I did have enough paint. It was just too thin. You can see that the base right there, you see how the base is really thick and that top paint that I did the um, flip cup with, how much thinner it is and it's creating all of this overmix, all of these lines, these jagged edges, because that's that top paint a lot thinner than that bottom base layer. So yeah, I, you know, I, I decided I would keep going Am I going to get something, you know, that's interesting? Because, you know, it's not always a mistake. Sometimes something very interesting comes of it. But I'm really losing my whites. I'm losing all of my highlights. And the paints are just starting to get muddy and try to become one with each other. <laughs> very difficult to flow there. That base is lagging while that top layer really just wants to run. So you'll see here in a little bit. I decide to not keep this painting and but I did want to keep the canvas and keep the process going so let's see what we can make of this mess of a disaster that I made <laughs> something will come of it I'm sure definitely not the look that I'm going for and I'm absolutely not happy with that so I'm going to just go ahead and scrape all of this off and try something else with this canvas which is okay I'll get something beautiful that was a quick fail <laughs> quick experiment that didn't work 
So we'll try something else instead. That's okay. I'll try that process again with a different set of paints and not so much this one that I was using, but I'm still going to go ahead and use this as my base. Have all this mixed up, why not just use that and do something else. So instead, let's just go ahead and, well, let's just do that. Beautiful metallic there. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Did leave out the sky blue. Go ahead and put some of that in there. But I do want to end this gorgeous metallic. And I'm going to just kind of do like a Dutch pour, basically. I'm going to add some of this for flow. Hopefully I save just enough. Okay. Get my blow dryer. I hadn't planned on using it, but I'm using it now. You know, sometimes I don't like it to mistake. And but you know. It's okay. It's not really a mistake. It's just uh, keeping it interesting, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm going to blow that blue actually over these and then I'll blow it out. Here we go. Just let that sit for a minute. Okay, here we go. So there's that, and because obviously I poured there, I'm actually gonna do another small one over here. So I'm gonna turn this around towards me and spin it again. And let's see here. Yep, I lost my little pin, my little push pin. It's holding the bottom of this. So these push pins are just not the best things in the world to use. The challenging canvas, shall we call it? A labor of love. Did I have all this paint? I don't know where the little, where it went in originally. I found it. I found it. Okay. With this one, um, I'm gonna do it like right here and I'm gonna blow along these little edges here. So that's gonna be really interesting. So let's see. I wanna put this up a little higher. I don't want them in the same order. I might even blow some of that off here as well once I get going here. So let's see. Okay. 
Same colors though. So I don't have a lot of this left, but I have a lot on canvas. So I'm hoping we're going to be okay. It's going to be real strategic where I put it. Okay. Going one way, this way, and then that way. Is. So this was actually better than my plan. Maybe the canvas knew what it needed. I'm glad I changed that up a little bit. I am gonna blow this over here. Well, I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'm really glad that I changed how I put the color. So this kind of like helped me with it, but I'm not hating that at all. Um, this one has a beautiful explosion going on in the middle. I'll wait to, I'll explain that soon. I bring you down for a close up. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The coverage down the side, that side enamels is, is really making a play in here. Actually, I'm going to blow this again. That's what I'm going to do actually. I'm just gonna add, there is still a lot of paint here anyway. I'm just gonna add a little bit more and re-blow that. Okay, I'm glad I made that last minute decision because now they at least match each other a lot better. Um, I don't like this is, it almost looks like a little butterfly, huh? Okay, much better. Now it's a little bit more cohesive. And I gotta tell you, these beautiful petals that are through here. Oh. I'll bring it down to a close-up finally now. Here it is, the wet results. So this is the part that I did over. You can tell. Just, you can see. But look at this. I'm so glad that I did it. I mean, it is just stunning now. It was kind of just matte before, not highlighted enough. Now I have those streaks of that white. I just mixed with the, the blue and the turquoise green and some areas even made this beautiful purple on its own. Beautiful lacing. This right here, absolutely stunning. Just, just stunning. The base, like I said, it was leftovers that I had. Here is that second one that I did here. 
you can see why I just had to try to recreate at least some of it to match the other side. Look at that highlighting right through there with the gold. And I see that, see what I'm saying, that purple right there? It's amazing. And here's your satin enamels coming into play. <laughs> there is no silicone in this. Just because of the metallics, it comes right down to the side. I can't wait to show you this one when it's dry. And it has room to put, to just put a type set right through here, or even just through here, or even there. I may give that some thought and see what I do with that. But there it is, and I'll show you the dry results soon. Thanks. So here are the dry results and it dried amazing. <laughs> we have coverage along the sides there. It laid down beautifully. Look at this. This right here, all these metallics. This here, this petal here, it looks like it's just laying in water or something. I don't know, but I'm just amazed and stunned by how beautiful this turned out the details in here the depth the brightness the boldness the shimmer i'm just loving this color combination it worked well with the base everything laid down really smoothly you see that that's the gold and also it has that blue metallic this is not yet varnished. It'll be ready for varnished. Be varnished here in a few days. It's not quite ready for that just yet. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you the dry results. And I'll uh, also add some stills to the end of this video. So stay tuned. Thanks.